Good morning, everybody. No, I haven't been crying. <laughs> I had to follow Jerry to the car dealership in Medill, and I had to drive his truck, and he drove my car. Then we dropped off my car for service. We came back in his truck. But the whole point is I've been outdoors, and outdoors doesn't like allergies <laughs> in me. So, yes. If I sound wheezy and sneezy, that's because I'm wheezy and sneezy. <laughs> so today's March 2, 2021. And it is a terrific Tuesday. Okay, what's today about? True fruit. The scriptures, Matthew 7, 16. By their fruit, you will recognize them. Do people pick grapes from thorn bushes or figs from thistles? Mm -hmm. Boy, that's a real, real important one. People can say one thing, they can tell you one thing, and what they do and the way they live and the way they act and the people they run with and the places they go, they all scream. My fruit is not what I'm telling you it is. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Oh, I'm trying to get through this without sneezing all over my book. Jesus didn't mince words. He made it clear that if you are living for him, your life will show it. Your behavior speaks loudly as to what you truly believe. A woman who is serving and obeying God will soon have fruit in her life. What is fruit? A growing love for Jesus and for other people. A desire to witness for him and share his love with others. A willingness to use the gifts and talents God has given to grow his kingdom. A woman can claim to be following Christ, but if there's no fruit in her life, then her words are empty. This is one of the issues I've had with one of my siblings all my life. She can talk the talk because she was raised in it. <clears throat> but otherwise, and I won't go into any detail, it screams. I can say it, but I sure am not living it. Yeah. <clears throat> I don't understand how people can live with themselves when they're like that. I just, something happens here and, and I say something I shouldn't say or I get in a fuss with my husband or I get in a fuss with one of my relatives. It, it upsets me to no end. And I will, I had a friend once, her name was Deanna, we were real, real good friends. And I got mad at her over something. She was sort of kind of like this verse here, but not purposely. She didn't realize it, but um, I got onto her for something one time. I got mad at her over something, and I don't remember what it was. I know I had her come work for me one time. I was managing an oil company, and I think I had her come work for me. And I, I don't know. I don't remember what it was at all. I just remember that she was really upset by it. And, oh, I sent her cards. I sent her a great big bouquet of flowers. I called her. <laughs> she said, boy, when you apologize, you really apologize big. <laughs> oh, I just hate it when I hurt someone. But then there's accidentally hurting someone, and then there's trying to help somebody by saying, you say you're a Christian, you say you love God, but you're doing all these things that God hates. How, how can you do that? <laughs> I'll give you one instance, and I won't tell you who. This person, when we would be in a car together, would always throw the trash out in the parking lot, out in the streets. A cup, a can, Kleenex, paper towels, bag from dinner, whatever. And it would just infuriate me. I would say, how can you do that? How can you do that? And she, she would say, Oh, it's giving somebody a job. I'm doing them a favor. Mm -hmm. And this is one that professed to be a Christian and love God. 
things like that. I hope that kind of makes sense. <laughs> oh, how can you love God and do something so ungodly? Okay, let's just put it that way. All right, my friends, it's late in the morning. We went to the car place because my car, Jerry ran over a pothole or something last time we were out. Remember when I went to Joanne? Why is it called Joanne instead of Joanne's? But anyway, <laughs> ran over a pothole. He didn't know it was there or something. And so now my car is making this funny noise. And we've got to go to Oklahoma City next week. We both have doctor appointments up there. And he said, if you want to take your car, we need to go find out what's making that noise. <laughs> so we took the car. So now it's already late in the morning. And um, I haven't finished my video from yesterday. Uh, the the uh, devotional's up, and I'll get this one up, but I'm working on another video answering questions and showing you my finished quilt. So I want to get back and finish that. So I'm going to let you go for today, but I'll be back tomorrow for the devotional for March 3. Let's see what it's called. Evidence from inside. Mm, sounds kind of like today's, doesn't it? Bye, my friends. <laughs>